Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be doing another beer review on Agrarian Ales Kettle Sour Beer Euros. Like I said, we're going to be doing a beer review on Aragon Ales Euros. This is a kettle sour. Uh, it's 5.6% ABV, zero IBUs. Uh, not a whole lot is known about this beer. There have only been 32 check-ins total. That is 3.2 on untapped, zero on Beer Advocate. It is ranging at a 3.74 right now. Uh, it does tell me, though, that it is a ale made with pie cherries. That's all I get. Yeah, let's try this. Right away, you do get that funky kettle sour smell to it. Almost rotten flavor. Spoiled fruit, you know? Um, uh, canned fruit that got air in it and now it's fermented. Some people like that, some people don't. Um, as far as the flavor, it, you do taste this fermented fruit flavor, pie flavor too, just cherry flavor too, but it, it isn't, I don't know if it's that good of a cherry flavor. Uh, it, it has a very strong fermented fruit aroma and because of that, it's so strong, it's messing with my taste buds. It reminds me of my grandmother's garage. She did a lot of canning. I love the color though. It is this nice orangey pink amber almost. It's got this little pink hue to it. It is fantastic. I don't think you could see it, but it's really cool. I like it. Now uh, I am tasting a bit more of the fruit notes. Um, actually, surprisingly, I'm getting more of a apricot flavor to this. Um, a couple things that just scream out right away is that this is all locally done. They say on the bottle that all the hops are grown there, certified organic malt, farm well water. I will say the body to this is actually a pretty nice body. It's a nice medium body. It's not thin. It is. Super, super cloudy. I just did a review on a hazy IPA. This is hazier, cloudier than that. Although I will give that to probably the cherry juice. It is a kettle sour, so you're not getting that traditional sour flavor. You're getting this tinny, almost copper-like sour flavor to it. Uh, it does have a fruit aroma, but it is more of a fermented fruit aroma. Um, not that sweet cherry pie aroma or flavor when described as cherry pie. Um, it, it smells like fermented cherry pie gone bad in your grandmother's garage. It is not the worst sour I've ever had. It's not the greatest sour I've ever had. It shows potential, that's what it does. Uh, another thing I noticed that is these bottles look handmade. This looks hand-capped. 100% um, solid effort. It says it's an organic uh, grain and farm well water. Again, I love the body of this got a great body to it but I probably will not buy another bottle of this sour probably will buy another bottle from them but not this sour. well 
Well, I'm John, this is Hops and Brews. Thanks for coming by. Hey, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, watch some more of my videos. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, check me out on Untapped. Follow me on there, become my friend. Uh, you can see all the other beers that I check in throughout the week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today, we're going to be doing another beer review. Today is Brewery. <laughs> Oh, gosh. One of those, one of those needs to be good because I've done like a crap ton of intros. Never get the name right.